What's up traders? This is Marco. It's not Friday today. We have Tuesday and I thought I will make a quick uh, daily recap of what has happened today. And you can see here the daily chart and we are moving in the top range right now. And this is pure congestion here. Also, you can see this uh, measured move up here, the second leg and we hit it uh, almost to the tick. And right now we are having some congestion area here. You can see this tiny little uh, bars going sideways here. And uh, yeah, this is exactly at the top of the range. And um, tomorrow there will be important news event. So there is a chance that we see a major pullback back inside the middle of this range. And I'm switching over to today's trading day. Uh, pretty much started here um, at um, seven in the morning. And you can see there was a huge sell off um, prior to that. And then there was this uptrend forming here. I drew this from the slow with the first touches of this um, bars here. We had the first break of the structure here and a retest of the highs. And then I saw there was some resistance coming up here. At this point, I didn't uh, have this range yet. So <clears throat> there was some resistance coming up here. Not enough to take a short yet because it's very congestive here. And you can see prices are moving in this tiny range. Then prices push lower here. And also then I saw this support coming up here. You can see prices tested this level once, tested this uh, level twice. And we had this uh, shorter term downtrend working lower with a break and new low. And I really like the setup here. This is the second entry long plus a triple test of this support with a very nice bullish bar. I spoke to some of you guys and you had a different bar here, but if you had this bar, then this setup is to consider to take along here. Prices went up higher here. We're breaking through this resistance here that was made before. So this channel here played out by a break new high. Now we are trending higher with this shorter term channel here. Also this channel broke and we are um, going through this resistance here. And this was the moment where I thought, okay, maybe we have some uh, range here because you can see around this level here, there was some strong resistance and prices simply could not break through it. So I draw the resistance um, from these highs here and of these lows. And you can see prices are bouncing off here, going lower. No setup here. This bar is simply too huge and there's no space um, back to the lows here. Breaking the structure, making a new low and bouncing off this range support again. But no setup here, going higher. This is congestion here. Um, I think you cannot take this. This is um, too sideways here. Then we're breaking the shorter term channel and finding some resistance of this level here, uh, not to take yet because prices could also go to the range high here, going lower here. You can see this channel working lower here and um, yeah, no setup here, unfortunately, because this bar is way too big and there is a lot of support going lower and we're breaking this range for the first time. And this was a moment where I was thinking that maybe the range is a bit bigger like this or even like this. And then it would match here with the overnight lows and this support that is popping up right now. Then there is a second entry short, but um, we had already a tiny break with uh, some retest of the lows. So I was not sure about this setup. Also look at this strong bullish bar here. I just couldn't take a short here um, because I was not sure we were bouncing off the range support and going to the other side of the range. So I was really not sure about taking a short here. And whenever you're not sure, you know the drill, then we skip it. Uh, I think for four takes, it would have worked. But uh, yeah, as, as I was not sure and uh, prices go higher here. And now this is interesting because <clears throat> then I thought 
maybe this is a bigger downtrend structure here and now we have also a new low here first entry short second entry short with um <clears throat> some very strong bearish bar it had um eight ticks here so i thought okay if this bigger uh, channel here is in play then this is the first break and we see a retest of the lows so i was um, willing to risk this and it would have worked with with um you know I, i'm i'm scalping out with six ticks <clears throat> also we had this shorter term stru uh, structure working higher here with a break new high um i can see a reason against this trade if you tell me that it's close to dma and in general this is congestion here so this is for sure an aggressive setup but um i was thinking uh to to mark this <clears throat> second entry short prices go lower retesting the lows we are bouncing off the range support here again but no setup here this is an inside bar of this you know that i i don't like inside bars so um yeah couldn't take there's also not a higher low the higher low comes here but then this is like very stacked up here you can see it prices go higher in this channel here breaking new high and we're bouncing off this um yeah resistance here uh, but for me not enough confirmation to take a short here i would like to see a lower high for example but this lower high didn't come and um yeah it's like simply not enough to to take a short because prices could also go to the range um, resistance here and this is typical on range days that you can see prices are touching of the range support and go to the range resistance and then back and forth so i really could not take a short here i think taylor you took this short here congrats on that because you can see there was a huge uh, runner here prices go much lower so i draw i drew this um, trend channel here and we are breaking this for the first time uh, retesting the channel uh, so this channel played out no setup for me this is a second entry short here you can see this price made a new low first entry second entry short but it's an inside bar and um yeah i just <clears throat> told you I, I don't like to trade inside bars if this price is here tick one tick higher and then went lower then uh, yes second entry short here to take um after a first break of this shorter term channel here with the retest of the lows there's enough space uh, to the lows here so potential second entry short here um, if you're trading inside bars then yeah please take this retesting the lows <clears throat> retest is done moving higher here strongly higher many bull bars pushing higher here shorter term channel is intact um, we are looking for potential longs but this is sideways here so i could not take this long here it was the right decision then prices are pulling back <clears throat> going in this uh, range here so really nothing to consider this is how I found this range from this bounces here of these lows and then bounces of these highs. So I drew this range, but then I saw prices making um, higher lows constantly. So I drew this bigger channel here and we are pulling off. There's also another channel here. You can see this pulling higher bouncing back here confirming this channel um prices made a new high here first entry second entry long but no set up here this this bar you can simply not cannot take and then we are pushing lower here going higher bouncing off here and then i thought maybe this is a bigger channel here so this by this bar this channel would be confirmed but i was scared taking along here with this strong bearish bar here look at this size and it looks like two legs down and there was potentially uh further move move down here so i really could not take um 
along here, but you can see um, this bar only had five ticks. And if for some reason you saw the structure here before, then um, of course you can take along here, but um, for me personally, if I extend this, uh, there was simply no indication to take along here. Also, we were not bouncing off the range support, so I could not take along here. But short time after that, there was a pullback. We had a new low, first entry, second entry short failure. You can see this big bearish bar. And when prices are ticking above this level here where all the shorts having their stop losses, then this is a failure. And I really like this setup here. Also, um, this push higher here shows me that something has changed. And I really like this setup as a failure. Failed second entry short, not long, it's short. So I mark this trade for potential long. Going higher here, this looked like a first measured move with a pullback. So there's a second measured move here with the targets up here. We're pushing higher, breaking through the, um, breaking through the range here. Most breakouts fail, couldn't take a short here. Even this measured move was hit. Then we made a lower high. If you have a better bar here, you can take this. Um, as a short setup, I mark this as an aggressive setup, lower, lower high here. Then we have another lower high here, triple test. So if you didn't take this, then it's worth to take uh, this setup here. Still we move, uh, we hit this measured move. Also, if you take this uh, uptrend structure, we had a lag. Uh, a break and two legs to new high. So I really was um, sure that it's fine to take a short here with this um, triple test here, breaking through the range and most breakouts fail. But then you can see prices find some support of this uptrend here. So this uptrend here was confirmed uh, one, two, three times. We had a tiny break here and prices push strongly higher here with this uptrend, a uh, shorter term uptrend moving higher. Cannot take this long, it's congestive far above the EMA. So really I didn't like taking a long here. And then prices move still higher. We're breaking through this resistance here and pulling back, finding some support of this trend. And this is where we are with current price section. I'm leaving uh, the PC, but I think it was nice to give you idea about what, what was happening today. Um, also notice this um, bigger uptrend here was visible to me pretty late. So um, yeah, first I had the shorter term uptrend working higher here. Then we had the break, two legs to new high, then a pullback. And I saw there was some support here of the uh, midline of the range. And I thought, okay, prices are dropping here, um, making higher lows all the time. So I thought, okay, this could be a nice idea to take um, this bigger uptrend channel here. And you can see prices are forming this shorter term channel. And we are finding some support here now of this uh, um, channel. And we're pushing above the EMA. Um, so there could be a potential uh, long trade, but yeah, we have the shorter term downtrend here in play first break. So I would like to see a retest of the lows and then this uptrend could be maybe a bit bigger like this. So yeah, a lot of things going on here um, where I'm not feeling comfortable in taking a, a long just now. I would like to see a retest of the lows. And yeah, this was today's trading day. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe the video if you haven't. And uh, yeah, wish you a nice trading week. See you next time.